The world of work is changing rapidly. The onus to avert the disruptive changes that come along is a shared one. The Labour 20 as an engagement group of G20 representing 85% of the global workforce initiated discussions on critical issues that affect the ever-changing world of work. The chair of Labour 20 under Indian presidency of G20 is Bharatiya Mazdoor Sangh on account of it being the most representative trade union in India and the largest democratic trade union in the world with 17.3 million membership. L20 chair invited trade unions from across the world to attend the L20 inception meet in March. The inception meet that was held in Amritsar, Punjab was marked with intense discussions around its priority themes and sub-themes. With the motto of Vasudeva Kutumbakkam, L20 engaged in bilateral talks with trade unions from participating countries and international organizations such as ILO, ITUC, UN Migration and etc. Several rounds of discussions and meetings took place among task forces that consisted of experts and workers' representatives from all G20 countries. 450 plus events to ensure wider participation of the masses were organized across the country. The L20 summit in Patna saw the participation of 29 nations from across the globe. After 16 hours of discussions with 173 delegates, the L20 statement was adopted unanimously in the Patna summit. The L20 statement followed the core idea that no worker should be left behind and puts forth a demand before G20 countries to create a framework on the universalization of social security benefits, addressing low wages, creating a global skills data management system and redefining formality and informality. Additionally, women-led development should be at the forefront of inclusive growth and sustainable development. Upholding the democratic tradition of representation and bringing forth the voices of the unheard, Labour 20 in India has set new democratic traditions and set the stage for workers uniting the world.